presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 139. Nasdaq's off 74. S&P's down 25. Gold. Gold contract up five dollars, traded at nineteen eighty-two an ounce. We have silver up forty cents, twenty-three dollars sixty-four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a dollar thirty-two, sixty-eight dollars fourteen cents a barrel. Light sweet crude. But well, yeah, that's light sweet crude. Notes and bonds. Ten-year note up thirteen ticks, trading one fourteen fourteen. The thirty-year up twenty-six ticks at one twenty-eight eleven. And king dollar, king dollar trading up one hundred eighty-one ticks. At 104, 346, the euro is at 106, the yen's at 139, the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, you get a pullback today. You get light volume out here. That's saying that, hey, guess what? This thing more than likely is not done yet, you know? So we failed yesterday on price and volume at the highs. Today, you got light volume on the way down. And when you have the light volume on the way down, folks, it, the market's not done going up. That's the bottom line. So, you know, we're coming into 93 million. You're only doing 53. So maybe we'll do 60 million, 65 million, if that's what we do. And, you know, depending where we close, if we close at the low of the day, that would change things. But if we go into the S&P futures, there's not a high volume low out here inside the futures right now pull this back you can see what you actually have is that you have when we just came down on that 10 minute bar 10 minutes ago that bar has 44,000 but guess what when we went top side there you're going up with 56,000 so that's the battle lines right there you know you can see down the very bottom we had no sellers down the bottom it was down the bottom for you know the, the first time down the bottom at uh, 10 o'clock this morning 10 10 10 10 to be exact yeah, 10, 10.30, rather. Um, you, had, you had contract volume of 60,000. Then you kept testing it, and then you had 35,000, 35 to 60. So that's saying that this market still wants higher price, and you probably get higher price coming into the close. So, And then you get, you get uh, window dressing, man. That's where we're at. Gold. Gold, well, yeah. Now, let me do the Qs first. And the X100. We take a look at the three Qs. Same setup in the queues, right? You're back with 45 million. This is going into 63. So it'll probably do 55 or something like that. Now, this is at the lower end. Uh, let me pull the queues up on here. This is at the lower end of its trading range out here. So let's see if it's set up the same way. Yeah, it's set up the same way. Let's set up the same way. We, we just came down... Yeah, those, those lows just don't have enough volume, man. You know, we'll see how it shakes out, but they just don't have enough volume. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. We go into the gold market. Gold market out here, in bottom line, didn't hold price. Gold, gold may have just set up another ABC down. Well, it, it did set up another ABC down. The real question is going to be, you know, does it take out a B point? 
we're already got this B point would have quite a bit of volume. So the B point had 264 million um, on volume. So we'll see if that's going to be the case. But right now you've got a confirmed one down in 1902. And 1902, you know, basically gets you where we come off the bottom. You know, it had strength. So I suspect we're going to get down into that level. If you go to the GDX and take a look at the GDX, you're going to see that you had some volume in the GDX, but you gave it up on price in about two seconds, as you did with the GLD. So the GLD did the same type of setup. And you can see you got up to the, you know, the 183.44, you're at 182.47. That's not, that's not a great setup. And we go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. It's all about this dollar, folks, okay? Dollar, once again, is on the move. You know, we're up 100 ticks, 159 ticks right now. You know, we're, we're not far away from the first swing point. The first swing point is 105,800. So we're at 104,326. I expect the 106 number that I keep coming up with, folks, that happens to be the 0 .382 of the whole move down. That's where I'm getting the one, you know, so we'll see. That, and that, what happens there is that that's a normal dead cat bounce. Um, so we'll see whether it actually gets stronger then, but that, that's what that is set up for. Uh, AVGO, let's go take a look at uh, Broadcom. The chip, chip sector, of course, has been on fire. The low is 415, the high is 941. You are trading at uh, 806, and they come up with numbers tomorrow after the close. So we take a look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so in three days, it's gone from 676 up to 921. Holy cow. Man, oh man. That is a total mind blower. So here, what is the question here? Okay, sales. Let's go look at the sales and earnings per share. Okay, so we take a look at what they're going to do here. They're looking to do $8.7 billion and $10.15 to the bottom line. Now, the reason this target is asking that is that if we go over to NVIDIA, NVDA, they, bottom line, when their sales numbers come out, watch this, they blew their sales numbers apart by like $5 billion. It's some outrageous number. Yeah. So they were thinking of coming in $7 billion, they came in $11 billion. Is that, is that right? No, that's the next quarter. That's how this was shaken out. The next quarter, they were looking at 11 billion. They came in with 7.2 billion. You know, um, AVGO to go back to AVGO again. Well, actually, you want to go to NVDA. If you go back to Nvidia, the thing that's going to get intrig intriguing with Nvidia, you know, is that okay? Is there for some reason going to be a gap down? Because <laughs> this gap's not going to stay open, folks. That's the bottom line, you know. Gaps as large, they don't stay open. It's just a matter of when they get filled. Now, that being said, <laughs> you might get a free gap play. So I wouldn't be shotting this right now until Broadcom comes out. The problem, of course, is that if Broadcom comes out with bad numbers, we will see NVIDIA also uh, gap down. Stay right there, folks, to come right back. And, uh, you know, you, we, we had um, a great show with our man, Mr. Bill O'Neill. He passed away, unfortunately. Um, on Memorial Day weekend. So uh, if you didn't check it out, you can check out either the, the uh, 11 o'clock show this morning or the 2 o'clock show this afternoon, folks. Uh, that was the last interview that I had with him in 2014. Have a great Currencies, one. Currencies, right commodities, back. and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials down 136. You got the Nasdaq off uh, 75. S&Ps are off 24. And we go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. So we have uh, Tesla's down at a buck and a half, a buck, thir a buck 90. You got the Advanced Micro down 615. Nvidia's off 18 bucks. We have, uh, let's see which are the big ones here. So inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, Intel is putting six, Intel's up 6%. You get Dexcom up 3%. AstraZeneca is up 2 Taken away from it. Marvell Technologies is off 7 AMD is off 4 NVIDIA is off 4 Micron is down 4 Now, this, this is a heads up right here, folks, okay? You don't see this happen in this type of stock. And it's advanced auto parts, okay? It's down $38, okay? This is an equity... That <laughs> bottom line, you know, only was running at a 10 PE, which it should, okay? But this came out of nowhere. And that is an indication that we are still in a bear market. That's when you have the surprises that come out to the downside, it's a bear. Surprises to the upside, it's a bull. And, you know, you talk about going after the March 2020 lows, well, this Almost hit it. 71.32 is the March 2020 low. This hit 72.68. Now, the problem is it hit it with volume. So this is not over. And what this is all about is that they are cutting their dividend. This was like that. But this is vicious, man. This is like about as heavy as you can get. Because, I mean, are you kidding me? We know that cars aren't going away. Um, let's see what they say. Okay. Yeah, they missed it. But listen, watch this. They didn't miss a lot on their profit. It's the dividend, I suspect, that did. So, yeah, the advanced auto parts dove toward a record one-day sell-off Wednesday after the auto parts seller reported fiscal first quarter earnings that missed by a wide margin, slashed its dividend to enhance financial flexibility, and chopped its full-year outlook. Let's see. So... So give me some numbers here. Okay, net income for the quarter dropped to 42.7 million, uh, 72 cents, from, yeah, that's quite a bit, they, from 139 million, uh, 226, the same part a year ago. That's a big number, isn't it? Sales grew 1.3% to 1.42 billion and came in shy of the 
consensus, which is 1.43, 3.43. So, see, when you see something like this, well, watch this, folks, okay? You see that the, the sales, I know why this thing dropped now. You see that the sales, okay, sales grew 3.4 billion, just shy of consensus 3.43. Well, big operators are looking at that and saying, you know what, man? They turned around and they threw everything into this quarter. And that's always a problem because if the sales only came in, you know, what that's a hundred, yeah, a hundred thousand dollars less, right? But yet your bottom line dropped out like that. You know what that means? That means they threw expenses in like hand over fist that have probably been laying out there for a long period of time. That's what normally happens with something like that, you know? Um, let me just see. I'm sure O'Reilly Automotive has to be getting hit. It's only down to $20. Look at that. $20. That's a big difference. O'Reilly has always been heavier, meaning a much better look in equity um, than advanced auto parts. But look at that difference. And so O'Reilly is looking for, well, the last time, the next time they come out is the 17th of April. They did $3.7 billion and uh, $8.28 to the bottom line. So pretty wild. Uh, in, in general, that is about as wild as you can get. There's no, no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at uh, Chewy. Chewy's coming out with numbers. If you watched TD Ameritrade this morning, they were trading Chewy out there. So Chewy, you know, bottom line has a huge problem. It's trading below what it was pre-pandemic, this baby, look at this man, holy cow. Yeah, it's going after its all-time lows, man. Yeah, you get, you're at 29, 22, looks like it's a game. And this is an equity that started out at 21, goes all the way up to 130, 120, and then gives it up in spades. So we take a look at the revenue there. They're coming out after the market today. They're doing, they're looking for 2.7 billion. This is pretty intense. How, all, this always blows my mind, folks, that you can do 2.7 billion in revenue and you're still gonna lose money. They're still gonna lose six cents. In fact, they're saying they're gonna lose money all next year, which is unbelievable. By the last quarter of next year, they think they're gonna make some money. That's pretty, that's about as intense as you can get, so. You know, that's what they, when you're going after growth like that, that's that's a problem. And you know, if, when you if you were listening to the TD Ameritrade show, you know they had the guy from uh, Light uh, Portfolio on. Um, great segment. And what that segment was about, they always measure happiness, customer happiness in stocks. And Chewy has a huge happiness rating, folks. Okay. Their problem is getting new customers. Any customer that's out there, they have a happiness rate of something like 81%. And, you know, what Landon Swan was talking about is that the, it's very hard to, last quarter was 80%. And once you hit the 80% level, it's really hard to get up at all. But they got up to 81. But their problem is getting new customers. Once they have a customer, they're, they're fine. It's getting new customers. That's, that's been their problem, I guess, for quite some time. Because the pet food business is definitely, you know, <laughs> it's, it's expensive. Pet food is definitely expensive. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at, uh, let's see what good old uh, Elon is doing and Tesla is doing out here. So Tesla, yep, still, this is just backing down with light volume, man. Tesla's not done. Tesla wants this high, 217. Right now you're at 199.05, wants the high. Uh, Amazon, we take a look at Amazon out here. Yep. Yeah, you can see this. This is back. Look at this. So you get an ABC up. We went up with 96 million. You're back and down with 41. And then what the new CEO did is that he just canned 37 projects that were, you know, a no more at Amazon. So you can imagine how much money they're going to save there. Yeah, that's, that's a big number, man. You know? That's a big number. And you know, I remember when um, Google 
had the same thing. When you know you get the founders, when you have that much money, you're going to do. You know, you're definitely going to do a lot of projects. I mean, that's how it works, man. That you you do the projects when you have the money. I've done the same thing here, man. There's no doubt. You do the projects when you have the money. You know, if they don't work, they don't work. And yeah, the money's gone. But you know, in order to grow, you have to do projects, man. That's how it comes down. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 132, Nasdaq up 72, S&P's up 23. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 136. You got the Nasdaq off 65, SPs off 22. Let's go inside the Dow and see the strength versus the weakness here. Point-wise, this is what we have. You got United Health putting 38, 28 positive points, Amgen 16, Intel 12, Merck 11. Taken away from it. Goldman minus 54, Home Depot minus 47, Caterpillar minus 22, Travelers minus 22. Let's go look at Home Depot here. So we're 285. Ah, look at this. Yeah, okay. So this is building cars to a lower price. It's going to be a little bit dangerous here. I see. Let's put this on a monthly. Yeah, 
Yeah, now, this is interesting, right? So what you have here, folks, now, the price hasn't got destroyed this month. I mean, you know, it went down 22 bucks, but that's not a lot for, you know, the way the volatility's been in the marketplace. But you have that big expansion of volume. So I suspect we're going to get to the lower end of this curve, uh, the consolidation, rather, which is another $20 down, 264 And then more than likely, it's going to be the highs of the lows, which is 241 That's what we could probably set up. We'll see how that shakes out. But, you know, many of these, we, we had looked at a lot of these other equities, and the bottom line is that many of them, you know, wanted to get down to the March 2020 level, and many of them did. Um, I'll show you now. Now, let's, let's do this, because my take here is that, well, here, let's look at the Fed first. So the Fed rate right now is five to five and a quarter. Now, if you remember at the very beginning of this, folks, when the rate was zero to 0 0.25, right off the bat, Powell actually told people that he was thought it was going to go to five to five and a quarter, which is amazing. But that's where it went, and that's where it is. I think that's it. Now, if that's it, this is what you want to wrap your head around, is that, you know, the next meeting is on, I believe, the 14th or the 9th? The 14th. So, the, where they're using the words pause or skip, okay? Well, it just might be that, yeah, they, they pause, but that's it. That's the high. Now, if that's the high, what you want to be all over is, number one, you go to the, if you're in the futures traders, you'd be all over the 10-year, okay? Let me bring the 10-year up for a second. I'm going to bring them all up so whether you're a future trader or an equity trader, you can take advantage of this. So, TY, yeah. Okay, so on the 10-year, you can see what we did here. What we did is that we came into monster volume. I'd have to go back on the, I remember those. This was 3 million and 4 million contracts on the way up. We just rejected lower price yesterday with 1.8, no, two days ago, 1.8 million. You went higher yesterday with 2.6, and you also broke the downtrend. So the 10-year say is going back to 117.25. Okay, so now let's say if you're an equity trader. Well, you can go over to the TLT. And you take a look at the TLT, this is the 20 year plus, okay? This baby here came all the way back to its bottom. Well, the, the bottom of the TLT was 98.88. We came to 100. We got a sign of strength yesterday. That's saying the TLT wants to go up to the 105, 102.90. We'll, we'll take it step by step. But my take is that that's gonna be higher price, lower yield. And then, if you want some action, <laughs> and you're used to the triples, you know, you could go into the direction TMF. The TMF, okay, is three times. But if you, if you do a double or a triple, folks, I want you to really understand how they work. They are daily investment vehicles that basically, you know, recharge every day, meaning they recalculate, recalibrate every day. So it's important to understand that. Now, if you get a trend going, you know, fast, well, guess what? You'll, you'll, you'll do very well. And, and this one here, I want to show you something also. This is pretty intense. The, it, in, in one way, this would be like, okay, hold it. Is everyone going to be wrong? Because people are piling into this. Do you see this number down here, the market cap? The market cap on this, folks, is $2 billion. People are getting into this equity. And they're getting in... The, it, now, that's not going to be you and I. That's going to be, um, let me see, a, that's going to be big funds. Let me pull this up this way. Yeah, see these trades here? This is, these are big funds. Get, look, look at these numbers, folks. 45,000, 56,000. This is trades today that people are piling in the interest rate structure. And this would be the way to do it. That's the bottom line. You can the, the, look at these numbers. Doesn't matter which one you take. They are all huge numbers. But hey, we'll see where it goes, man. You know, but that's what it looks like. That, you know, by the time the summer's coming, you know, things will get a little bit tougher. Um, and 
It's not that they'll reduce rates, but the market itself will reduce the rates. I, I'm not on the, the deal that the Fed will come down on rates. What ends up happening is that the market itself, we've seen it a dozen times, that the market itself is, is the reducing power of the rates which the Fed ends up following. That's what, that's what normally comes down here. Um, yeah. So you get the TLT, the TMF. What was I just going to do? Oh, bummer. I just, I just lost it. Because <laughs> there's one other part that I wanted you to see. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Well, the U.S., well, I got it, I got it. U.S. A. Okay, so here's the active contract in the 30-year. And what you're going to see here, same setup. And that setup is saying the 30-year right now is at 128.14. Bottom line, this looks to me like you got 132 in gear. And then if we look at the whole structure, the way the structure is set up like this, okay, you have the Let's pull this back. The two-year right now is at 4.3%. The five-year is at 3.7. The 10-year is at 3.6. And the 30-year is at 3.8. Now, if you get the bond market right, folks, what ends up happening is this. Is that, see this five-year right here? At 3.7. If you can get 3.7, and you do 5, so what, that's 15, that's uh, 7 fives, that's 18%. Let me see this, I'll do it this way. So that's 18%. And then if we take the 40, let's just take 4,200. One second, let's do it this way. So watch this. 4,200 times 18 percent, that's 756. 4,200 plus 756, that's 4,956. You know, you can, you can make the case is that, okay, in five years is the S&P going to be basically 49 to 5,000, which you can real easy. That's a risk versus you just get a five-year treasury and you know you're going to get your money. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 113, Nasdaq's off 50, S&P's off uh, 18. Let's go take a look, and I expect this indice volume is going to be light volume also. Yeah, you're at, five, you're at 535 in the NYSE. That means it's going to do under the 969 of yesterday. And on the composite, we are at 3.7. Yeah, so you're going to probably do 4.4. So what you have here, you get a standoff. That's, that's how this shakes out. Now, you have a standoff inside the context that we are at on window dressing. Okay? So when you have something like that, that's telling me that no matter something else is going to come out to press. Well, what's going to probably come out is that we're going to have a House vote uh, tonight. I think it's tonight. What day is today? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, we're going to have a House vote tonight. Um, you know, it might be 1 o'clock in the morning, but it, that's going to fly out tonight. Um, that's going to make a difference. Then, then it pushes over to the Senate, and, you know, it, it's not like anything happened on the way down when this whole debt ceiling was happening, because it didn't. But I suspect what's going to happen is that once... They do have it settled. Probably get another pump up in the market. As you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see right on the front page, I'm man, Mr. Tim Ord. Tim's going to be doing a workshop for all of us, okay? He's going to be do two separate workshops. The first one's going to be on June 9th, uh, June 8th, rather. That's going to be on looking at the broad market and how you look at the broad market. That's going to be, it's going to be a two-hour workshop. It's an hour and a half of teaching, and it's a half hour of questions. The second one's going to be a week later, and that's going to be on the gold market. So you can come over here, and Tim will be on tomorrow, as he is every Thursday. You can take a look at these numbers. Uh, what ends up happening is that you can go to one workshop for $295, or you can save $100 and go to both of them. You know, so check, check it out on the front page of TFNN. They're going to be dynamite workshops, folks. I've already seen the workshop. I know what he does. And you're going to learn things that basically no one does. He uses a lot of different ratios of things that people know, okay, but they're used in a different way in order to basically get tops and to get bottoms, and they're pretty consistent. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, so it's going to be well worth the, the amount of time that you put in, the amount of dollars that you spend. We go take a look at the, uh, you can see even the Dow, this, this market doesn't want to go down. Let's go into E-mini for a second. It's pretty wild, too, when you think about it, yeah, especially when you think, yeah, look at, so we hit, the E-mini hit 41.74, you're at 42.01, you know, this is like saying, you know what I mean, it's like, no, I don't want to go down just yet, but the number to keep your, the, the, the indice to keep your eye on is the cash, you know, we've talked about this a few times, okay, this cash is the big number, now, what happened, it got over twice so far, and so here's the number. The number is 4195. That's when you truly get a breakout. So I suspect what we're going to see is this. And it depends, you know, what day that we hit this now. Because now what we have done is that we are in summer now. Okay? So in summer, things are going to slow down. And, you know, it, the market didn't hold price yesterday. So 
that's keep your eye on that cash number because this is what the difference is. The difference is the cash does not trade. So you can get to a, a higher number inside the SPY and the SPY is not as accurate because of the fact that they pay dividends. That's what it comes down to, you know. So, and if you take a look at the, you know, Steve Rhodes uses this a lot. Um, if you take a look at the equal weighted S and P, it's actually down for the year, not up. <laughs> that's 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 how insane and how strong just a few of the equities are that are bringing the S and P higher. So, you know. And then if you're just starting out in the market, I've said this many times, you know, if you're, doesn't matter, 20, 30, 35, 40, whatever it is, the way, the way to make money in the marketplace, folks, if you don't want to be in front of the computer every day, is just buy the SPY and forget it. Well, you don't even have to buy the SPY. I'd buy the, I guess, the VOO, because that's, that's even better. It's the same as the SPY. Yeah, except that the difference is, look at the difference. So the expense ratio and the VOO, same, exact same thing is 0 0.030, right? Let me put this, 0 0.030. And then the SPY, yeah, <laughs> is, look at this, is 0 0.090. So yeah, you're paying, the VOO is 200% less, I, if you, you got to do the percentages because let's pitch your owner for 30 years. It's going to make a difference, man. And then set it, forget it, and have a life for yourself. You know, Or come join Hotel California, man. <laughs> Once you're in, you can't get out. That's the bottom line. And if the house is voting right now, okay, so I see. Here we go. It, it's got to go through. The thing that's going to be intriguing is to see the rhetoric and, you know, if in fact they're going to try to move McCarthy out, speak of McCarthy out, I suspect there's, I suspect he's ready for it. I suspect there's some kind of another deal that's, you know, on the table here to make sure that that doesn't get done. You know, so he, I don't think he, he, he's not as worried about it as he doesn't seem to be as worried about it as he was in the initial part of getting the speakership, you know. Yeah, no one can get everything. That's the bottom line. We know that. We know that. So, politics, and then, oh, listen to this one, this one, Jamie Dimon is a trip. Jamie Dimon, you know, today floated that um, he would look at politics after retiring, you know. So that's, that's quite a statement. They're having a, a big hoopla-la over in China today, and, uh, you know, that, that, he's, that, they've floated that before. And, you know, there's, there's plenty of uh, folks that would actually get behind that. Well, we'll see how that would shake out. There's one thing saying it. There's another thing getting, that, getting inside of that arena. That arena, it's the same arena as, like, the, the financial arena. You know, there's all shocks. But I think the biggest shocks are absolutely in the, it goes politics, then it goes finance. Because we know, I mean, listen, you, you've seen the politics. The politics is absolutely insane. You say yes, it means no. You say no, it means yes. You say maybe, it means nothing, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we got to go to the oil market because the oil market is signaling, folks, that the dollars keep going, got to keep going higher. We look at the XLE. It's making its way. Excuse me, folks. It's making its way down to that swing low. Swing low that we're talking about is that 70, 75. We're at 76.64 right now. Um, and, you know, we'll see whether we, we take a look at Exxon, same setup, you know, and this is, let's just see how big this consolidation is. Okay, it's a pretty good size consolidation. So the bottom of this consolidation and Exxon is 90, 99. Now you break 99, you get that, that's, now you're getting another range. You know, you break 99, you're going to be down to 91. So stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow's down 99. Nasdaq's up 47. S&P's down 17 and a half. We're coming right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And <laughs> here goes another bit chain down the, down the tubes. So you have the CEO of Multi-Chain, which is... Now this is this is a this guy's a big deal also. Not that I know this business, but the team he has disappeared the last two days, and this is the fourth largest. Let's see. Crypto exchange Binance said last week is temporarily suspended deposits of some tokens that are transferred between blockchains via multi-chain. Yeah, it's the fifth largest so-called bridge in crypto by monthly trade and volume. So there you go. Here comes another one, coming down the drain. <laughs> Just disappeared. <Whew>. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, one after the other. It's like, okay, one second you're there, the next second you're not. And in this particular case, what they were talking about is the, so the exchange itself, the, the bridge, there's, the bridge is breaking off. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Wild, absolutely wild. Let's go take a look at the, uh, oh, let's go take a look at, actually, Microsoft, MSFT, because Microsoft's been moving around in a monster way here. Yeah, you get the spread. Oh, the spread's only two points today. No big deal. No big deal there. Google. Same setup on Google. So Google's trading 123. That's still, so 
Look at that, right to the 50% retracement. Google did a 50% retracement of the down, downtrend. This is going to get tricky. And then there was a question here about if the dollar keeps going up, wouldn't the market go down? Yes, my, my take is that the market is still going to pull back. But what's happening, I think, is that we got to make it by window dressing. Get to make it by like the next four or five days. Because it's showing today that you pull back, the volume's really light in the pullback, so that's saying that the way up is not done. You gotta remember what Owen said, too, because we could have another sign of strength, and it just might take one more leg up, man. I mean, that's, you know, we saw, we've seen with the NASDAQ then. The NASDAQ is an animal, man, and the market likes to follow the NASDAQ. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow. It kicks us off 9 a.m. Yeah, look at him, folks. Building wealth.